Welcome to Watch South, and today we'll be counting down our top 10 pieces of information that you should know for this week. Make sure to have a pen and pad because these will be the notes to know and make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow us on Instagram at Rebels Video if you want to see more of us. Number 10. BC Application Workshops Seniors, if you need help completing your BC application, there's a workshop today in the 24th from 1.30 to 3 p.m. Link can be found in the Senior Google Classroom, SHS College slash Career Center website, and has been sent to the school emails. Number nine, Cash for College Workshops. Seniors, you can attend the free Cash for College Workshop to complete the free application for federal student aid or the California Dream Act. The workshop is on February 24th from 2 to 6. Number eight, Virtual Gallery Walk. The South High Plus class is hosting a virtual gallery walk and they need you. They're asking for any type of art, expression, dance, poem, spoken word, song, digital art, painting, photo, etc. relating to this month's theme of Just Keep Swimming. A reminder that even though you might feel unmotivated or even as you feel as if you're drowning, the light at the end of the tunnel is near. For more information, please contact Ms. Powell at Nicole. Powell at kernhigh.org. Number seven, winter reading challenge. Last week we saw Anastasia Pie Mr. Mraz, but we aren't finished yet. First, let's have a replay. Just want to say great job everybody for participating in this year's first ever South High Winter Reading Challenge. You guys impressed me so much. You're all great. All Number six, Mask Singer. Last week, we saw our very own teachers under a mask sing, and we asked you to guess who it could have been. To get a general, please, the person under the mask was... Now, let us take a look at the teacher under the mask this week. What's left to say? These words ain't working anymore. Every word Shot down in flames What's left to do With these broken pieces On the floor Comment who you think is under the mask Under this video And remember to subscribe while you're at it We will release who is under the mask In the next one Now before you go to our top 5 Let's take a look at our honorable mention Students, remember to join the lounge from Monday to Thursday from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Make sure to use the tutoring link on Canvas to gain access. There are so many things to do at the lounge and plenty of people to talk to. Remember, every Thursday at 4 p.m., you can be a part of the change. Join the student-led discussion about our mascot change and make sure to accept the invite for the after-school activities. Now, let us do the countdown to our top five pieces of information that you should know for this week. Number five, Skills Week. This week is Skills Week. Skills Week starts today and goes until the 25th. The Zoom opens at 4 and the workshops start at 4.15. Enter through the After Schools Activity link through Canvas. Monday, today's tired check slash repair with Mrs. Jenkins. How to tie a tie with Mr. Mraz and basic first aid with Ms. Powell. Tuesday is auto fluids check, money management, and makeup skills. Wednesday is basic sewing, resume writing, and cooking. And finally, Thursday is laundry, finance budgeting, and the interview process. Number four, spring break. Spring break is coming up soon. Spring break is from the 29th of March to April 2nd, with the next Monday off. Make sure to mark your calendar. Number three, progress reports. Progress reports have just ended, but no worries if you feel you did not do your best. Progress reports are just meant to show your progress and you still have time to bring up your grade before quarter three ends. Make sure to talk to your teachers whenever you need help and remember, tutoring is always available. Number two, Rebels Do It Right winners. 
I'm Ariana Fenderson and I'll be announcing the Rebels Do It Right winners. Let's take a look at who won. I would like to congratulate all those who won. Number one, Kern High School District's reopening plans. As you may have heard, the Kern High School District had a meeting last week on its plan of reopening campus to start to bring students back in class in March, as well as returning sports. Sports that were approved of returning have been boys and girls, golf, tennis, swim, track and field, baseball, and softball. In regards to the campus reopening, it will follow the same plan that was put in place in October, allowing only certain students back on campus who would benefit them the most to be on campus. Do you agree with our picks? Thank you for watching Watch South and make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next week.